Hey YouTube, it's your homeboy Seth, Martial Art Fitness, and I am doing a boxing dirty tactic drill training. Um, most of the stuff that I do in the video is for mainly conditioning yourself for the street. Um, basically street fighting martial arts, that's what I do um, in my system. I don't really do traditional arts I mean I do practice them in my videos but usually when I do them usually I do them more of a traditional way um, the reason why I do it more of a traditional way is because it's more of a drill setting and everything else is because it's supposed to help work on your coordination and your endurance um, that's the thing when you're in a class setting you do patterns up and down the floor you know, like low blocks, reverse punches, high blocks, reverse punches, uh, front kicks, round kicks, up and down the floor, and um, in the gym, you know, um, getting the cardio workout in, kind of like a kickboxing cardio workout deal in. And basically, in this method, you know, it's just teaching you a drill set manner for the street, uh, for the way of striking in defense um, on dirty tactic fighting. Um, nothing spectacular. I mean, you know, it's just basic moves, basic, basic techniques. Um, nothing real fancy in it at all. Um, you see a lot of people in movies do it. You see a lot of people um, in underground fights using use these techniques. Um, you see um, military people use these techniques um, when they need to. And I, I've been reading out of some books that teach dirty fighting and you know learning from them you know it's taught me a lot of things you know what I need to work on and what strategies I need to do in my training to take my training to the next level I know when I train solo I'm not really you know I'm, I know I'm know I'm improving on myself being a self-aware of what I do and how I do it to get stronger to get better to get faster um, a lot of people may not see that, a lot of people may not really be impressed on what I do, um, but I don't really care, you know, I, you know, I just do these videos for fun, um, I'm not getting paid for it, you know, I wish I could get paid for it, um, that's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get more subscribers on my channel where I can get paid for YouTube, and that way I can, um, better myself on youtube as i can as i go along over the years i have tried to be better on voiceovers and talking in my normal videos when i do talk in um my actual video show on my face and everything um but the thing with this you know martial arts has helped me over the years on what i do you know just to be able to keep up with everybody just to be able to keep up with people that are younger than me um, right now I am 36. I've been training in martial arts ever since I was 15 years old. I even started a little earlier than that, about eight, eight or nine. I studied Tai Chi. Um, I went into boxing. Um, after that, because my grandpa saw potential in me, he taught me on how to box and everything. And um, he was more old school when when it came to boxing. Um, he didn't do none of that newer stuff. Um, he just believed in hard work. You know, do hard work, train hard, work hard, work hard for the things you have in life, and never back down. Those were the always things that, that he did teach me in life, about life in itself. And that's the reason why I do these workouts, is because, you know, I want to make myself happy. I want him to know that I'm doing good and that, and, you know, and I still keep up with my training. Even though he's gone and passed away about a year ago due to COVID, and... Um, when I train in boxing, you know, it brings a lot of memories back, you know, with him in my younger days trying to teach me on how to fight and how to defend myself and, and everything else. And he only taught me on what he knew about boxing. Um, but other than that, then I had a friend teach me how to do like, um, work the bag, work the heavy bag, and everything else. And he said, 
just keep working on it and everything else and that um, you'll get better over time you'll get more conditioned but this ain't about the heavy bag this is more about doing it in the air doing drills this will help you get conditioned for when you are ready to hit the heavy bag and everything else it will be awkward at first if you don't know how to hit the heavy bag um, it will be awkward at first when I first punch the heavy bag and everything. It did feel awkward hitting just something that just doesn't hit back. Um, but, you know, it was a good stress reliever. You know, I made it where I didn't punch holes in the walls and everything when I got mad. And, and it's like I said, it's just I do have anger issues and I do get mad at things in life. But, you know, I try not to let it bother me too bad. I've controlled my tiger inside of me. Uh, because um, that's my main demon that I have inside of me and everybody sees it in me when I do get mad and they know the tiger comes out so um, that's why my instructors always has called me over the year they always called me the tiger because I fought like one when I would release it and release that demon that I have in me and that's the reason why I train in martial arts is because it helps me control that demon that I don't like to let loose. And that's the reason why I do these boxing drills and I do these um, kickboxing drills, karate drills, whatever it may be that I'm in a mood for to train on. In my training, everybody says, oh, why don't you move around freely, you know, do, do shadow boxing. I do shadow boxing. Drilling is shadow boxing. And yeah, it may not be like a free fighting way, but it's drill. Doing drills is a way of shadow boxing in the air. You know, if you do drills like a traditional martial artist, you are shadow boxing no matter what. Um, you ain't just moving around as much like you, are, you would in an actual fight. Um, but. Drills are okay to practice, you know. Drills are a good way to get coordinated into your martial arts training um, with your hands or your feet or your elbows, your knees, your head, whatever your weapons you may use to learn for self-defense in its own way of fighting. And to me, martial arts is about self-defense and defending yourself in every way possible. But doing these drills, the reason why I do drills is where it comes second nature and into my training. I don't, where I don't have to think about it, I just do. And it just comes natural. Um, some people were messing with me at work and, and stuff and see if I knew my shit. And which, you know, I just reacted I didn't even think of it and um, they was testing me and my stuff does work and they say you're not the one to be messed with around here we could already tell that and just on what you know and I said and I told him I said I've trained in fighting all my life and, and I said that's all I do know is how to fight and and I said, I fight for my family, I fight for my, I fight for my people that follow me, and I fight for um, my beliefs, I fight for my job, I fight for my title that I have at my job, and I said, but most of all it is, that I, don't, I don't like to be walked over on, and that's what I'm trying not to get done on me at my job, is to get walked over on, and, and basically be treated like I'm retarded, which I'm not. And a lot of people sometimes will think I'm retarded in my videos. You know, say, oh, you're a retard or something like that. Well, I don't really care on what they think because me, I'm just being me. And I'm just being who I am, what I do in my training. Um, you know, I look at it this way. You know, there are other channels out there that have better videos than I do. But if you like my videos and what I show and then stay around, there'll be more to come. Um, right here, I'm just kind of doing some boxing routines, blocking, um, doing knee strikes, um, low line blocking, head butting, 
tactics and in this video and, and stuff like that you know it's doing something different in my boxing training um a lot of boxers don't really train in this way um they usually just train on their fists only they don't train any other weapon um to me to be a real fighter you know the way i see it the way i read up bruce lee books to tell him she can do um you gotta find your own way as a as a way to be able to flow like water and calm like the, calm like a storm so when you flow like water and calm like the storm when it is calm you'll be unstoppable uh, because basically on what that means is that uh, you must f be free from whatever obstacle is stopping you in, in, your, in your way to achieve new heights in your training and to me that's what I'm doing I'm trying to bring um, I'm trying to bring new heights to my level of training that's what training is on when it comes to learning martial arts you know you got to be able to you got to be able to um, better yourself no matter what choices you make in life even if you are doing martial arts just for fitness you know that's fine you know there's a lot of people do martial arts for fitness um and don't be ashamed of it or anything else you know if you just do it just to get in shape to get you know you know you have the tools to protect yourself if need you know and that's the thing that's a lot of people don't get you know most people say oh martial arts kickboxing basically in your own way and stuff like that well no not really it's not a form of kickboxing it's a form of self-defense and um yes to, to a fight to a real street fight usually nine out of ten it does lead to kickboxing it does lead just to boxing it does lead to just grappling wrestling but most of the time all that other stuff like the wrist locks arm bar lock uh from aikido or hapkido and stuff like that you know yeah that's all nice to know but when it comes to reality check, you know, you know that stuff ain't going to work in a street fight. Unless you know how to actually apply it and to make it into use. And, and that's the thing. And, um, and that's just how it is. And, you know, when it comes to training and, you know, Every martial art will tell you train every part of your body to make it lethal. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm spreading the message. Train every body part to make it lethal. And that way when you do need to use it, it'll, it'll be there to use. You know, to help protect you as a tool, as a way. And then it may be just a one-two combination. You know, as you know how to punch, you know how to punch. You can, if you can throw a one-two combo, which is a jab cross, and that's the thing, and um, that, then you'll just be on your way of learning to fight, even though it's just two combos at a time. You know, take your time learning the system and develop your own way of fighting in the martial arts. This is a workout, you know, anyone can do to follow along in the video. Just drills, you know, ideas, you know, that I came up with. Nothing spectacular, nothing new. Um, everybody has done this over the years. Everybody has done this to train hard, you know, to win a fight in centuries of ancient times, Greek, the Romans, and even even in the Bible way, you know, they fought like this. Um, they even trained like this to even um, to win wars, to, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, so even in military branches and you know people back in the day they always learn new ways to train to get stronger to get fit to get better at what they do in life and that's all i'm saying for right now i know the video is 20 minutes long uh not 20 minutes but yeah something like that 21 minutes 31 minutes i don't know however long this video is but um 
like I said, it's just that a lot of people, you know, say martial arts is useless. No, not really. And it's because, you know, when people say martial arts is useless um, in a fight, it's because they don't know how to fight. And they don't know how to train. Those are the ones that are saying that um, it's just pure laziness. And... But the thing of it is, the stuff that you see in the movies, it ain't real. You can't do that in real life. Um, a lot of people say, yeah, you can. Well, no, not really. Um, you really can't. So, uh, there you have it. Um, Seth McDonald full Martial Arts, Seth, Seth Martial Arts Fitness, and Seth McDonald 4 on Instagram. Please hit me up on Instagram if you ever want to message me. And everything else um say you want to train um i will charge a minimum of fifty dollars you know for for lessons um uh, for online training um in a video um on a video call or wherever but other than that and i will give you my paypal information you know if you need if you want to learn lessons online on instagram through me you know pay with paypal that's the only app i use and um go from there you know if you want to train with me just message me you know if you could do 50 bucks that's fine if not i'll take whatever you can spare and um so there you have it and like i said i am trying to do online coaching as of right now and y'all want to train under me and you know and be real about yourself and you know show your face in front of a camera and everything don't hide it you know because you're scared to show your face you know i'm not going to judge on what you look like so um there you have it you know if you want to get better and improvement on martial art um just train with me um you'll get more better benefit out of it um i may not look like it but you know hey you know i'm a normal human being just like everybody else is you know trying to make a living trying to strive to survive and you know i'm just doing one step at a time you know for my career on my channel and everything else so and plus it'll help me buy me new equipment you know and everything else when you know y'all say oh i need to prove uh, well only way to prove is to get new equipment so there you have it um go to my instagram something down a four but you know if you want to donate money ask me for my paypal um, that'd be fine. That'd be that'd be cool if you could. Um, but other than that, just be yourself. Be who you are. Train hard. Train smart. Please hit the like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You'll get every one of my videos. And like I said, train hard, train smart. Do your research. Be yourself. Who cares what people think of you? And even if you are slow or not. There's no room to judge because, you know, you can't never judge a book by its cover. There you have it. Seth McDonald for martial art. Seth martial art fitness. And pace.